Thank you. Okay, guys, so you know, you know, are you all aware of this idea that everyone has a comfort zone, yeah? Yeah. 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 And when you, it's a good idea to do things to get out of your comfort zone, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Great. So let's all get naked. <laughs> Woo! Come on, yeah. Let's... You can't back out. You've all agreed. Uh, one time that's going to work. All right. Look, my comfort zone, what I'm kind of afraid of, I'm kind of afraid of people. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm afraid of people. And that's a weird fear to have. You know, it's kind of like being homophobic and at the same time, heterophobic. <laughs> you know, I just keep walking in different places like, Ah! Oh, you people are disgusting! You make me sick! They're like, this is a library! I know! <laughs> I know and I'm on to you. Right? I think, I think, like, it's, 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 I'm just afraid of people, like, I'm doing something embarrassing in front of people and then them judging me. Do you know, like, I'm kind of a, I, I don't like going to parties. And other people love it. They're always like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Anything can happen at a party. But I'm kind of more like, oh, no. Anything can happen at a party. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, like, I read books by Jane Austen. She talks about, like, the formal balls they'd have. You'd have to fill out, like, a dance card before you could dance with anyone. I'd be like, that sounds great. Yeah. Right. Like, I go to nightclubs and everyone's dancing with everyone else. I'm like, guys, we had a system. <laughs> it was working fine. This is what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of doing something stupid and people judging me and I'm getting embarrassed. But that's stupid, right? No one has ever died of embarrassment. Right? Do you know what people do die of? Loneliness. <laughs> right? Like when you, when you see someone who's in a successful relationship or has a lot of friends, that's someone who's taken a risk and risk rejection, right? When you read about a hoarder who got trapped under a pile of newspapers <laughs> and then got eaten by their cats, that's death by comfort zone. <laughs> so you've got to get out of there. Uh, I'm, always, I, I'm always impressed by people who can get out of their comfort zone. Like the other day I was walking down the street uh, and just outside town hall, there was this guy. He was just, he was just dancing. <laughs> just no music. No one with him. No pants. <laughs> people were like, huh, huh. How do we get rid of him? I'm like, how can I be him? How do I get this wizard's magical powers? What is his secret? Drugs. Drugs is. <laughs> Drugs are the secret, you guys. <laughs> but I, I can't do that, right? And then it cripples, it, it, it's ruining my life, you know? Like, like the other, a while ago, I went to uh, the supermarket. I had to buy some toilet paper. And that's all I needed, just toilet paper. But I got the big, because it was on sale, I got a big jumbo pack of toilet paper. <laughs> went to go to the checkout. I was like, oh, wait. I can't buy just toilet paper. <laughs> What's the checkout lady going to think? <laughs> Probably that I poo. <laughs> I think she could guess that anyway, you know, but I did and I, I like, even if she guessed, she's not going to care. It's not like I'm going to bump into her in the street, you know, later on, she's like, oh, hey, you're that guy, four years ago, you were doing all the pooing. <laughs> I remember you. <laughs> but I still, I still had to buy like a can of corn, I had to buy some <laughs> eggs, and put them through with the toilet paper. Like, Look, I have other interests. I'm not just a poo machine. Don't judge me. And I was doing this for weeks. And then I thought, no, that's crazy. I can't do it. I can't live in fear anymore. So what I got to do, I have to force myself to get out of my comfort zone. I have to practice breaking through that barrier. So what I do now is I just go into the supermarket, buy the biggest roll of toilet paper, go up to that checkout and go, this is for me. <laughs> this is all for me. Going home to crap my brains out. <laughs> At first it's very scary, but after a while, you know, you're in there like, I'm going home to poo. And everyone's like, yeah, like last week. We know. <laughs> That's it for me, guys. Yay! That was Michael Poo Machine Connell, everyone.